Bullshit. I saved your ass and said you gonna repay me. I want a lawyer. I'm gonna tell you something. I just need you to listen till I'm done. I need you to put your faith into me like I'm putting the last of my faith in you. You remember the last night we went drinking together before you blacked out and I carry you home? Yeah. You asked me a question that night. You asked me if I like being a cop. And that caught me off guard. Because that question is always followed up with a follow-up question, which is, why did I become a cop? Dodged that question like a bullet all these years. It's really good. But for this shit show that's gonna come our way, you're gonna be the only person that knows why I became a cop. My family was taken from me when I was 16. My mom and my younger brother. I was coming home from school. As I was taking the bus home, I saw smoke in the distance. Maybe an industrial building. So it got close to my stop. Starting to zero in on where I was coming from. And my fast walking started into a sprint. And before I know it, I was in a panic running. I came home to my house in flames, and firefighters were putting it out. From what they told me, I apparently, uh, I guess, I blacked out. Took a few people to subdue me because they kept trying to fight to go home. They comforted me, saying there was no one in there. Arson job. So there was some relief there. But the uh, search started to begin for my mom and brother. And I must have been at that police department every day. They kept consoling me, telling me they're going to get answers, not to worry. And days turned into weeks. And just when I think my nightmare couldn't get any worse, and I find my mother, I uh, found her on the center of the road. She was uh, naked and beaten to death. I ended up uh, burying my mother. They weren't able to find any trace at the scene, no evidence, no suspect. And there was a day I turned my back on God, there even is one. My brother's still missing. And that same monster that took my mother must have him. And I went to that police station, still looking for answers, still hopeful. And the very people who showed me sympathy started to show indifference. I hated that. I hated them. I got to the point where they nicely told me they have hit a dead end. Managed to get a gun, find a bullet, you only need one. I managed to find my aunt's weed, I took all of it, started smoking, put my family's pictures around me, and for once I just tried to focus on every happy memory I could think of. The one that made me smile the most was the most recent picture, which was of my brother's fifth birthday party. He'd sneak out of bed at night, find his way to my room, he would asked me to read him one of my comics. I got a little shitload of comics that birthday from. He was very happy. I finished the last bowl, put the gun in my mouth, pulled the trigger, and everything went black. And I was standing up, and it was quiet, and I couldn't see my hands in front of me. I wasn't sure if I was in heaven, hell, whatever you want to believe in. And I just started to hear faint scream in the distance. It sounded familiar. And I heard, um, I heard my brother's screams in the distance. I just started running blindly in the directions it was coming from. And as fast as I ran, it just seems like the screams were just fading out more in the distance. And I'm fucking losing it. To the point where I'm just becoming hysterical. Right? Before I realize it, something snatches me by the wrist. I just spin around in the dark, not knowing what the hell's going on. And I, all of a sudden, I was paralyzed with, with fear. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening to my brother, and something powerful snatched me. I 
at the mercy of whatever has me in a whisper. It was only a few words, very faint, and it said, Save your brother. And it was my mom's voice. And after that was said, I woke up. The pictures around me, a gun in my lap, and a bullet hole in the ceiling. I don't know what happened, no one heard anything, no gunshot. It was almost like it never happened. But I believe in my heart. My mother interfered and told me he's still alive. And with all the face she gave me from that moment, I walked the path to become a cop the next day. And I will find my brother. You know more about me than anybody else in the world right now. And I'm telling you this because I need you to trust me, James. Shit is only gonna get worse. The promethazine, the same ones you be you claim to be addicted to. You are going on about it about and Gordon's house about how you're trying to overcome your addiction. 